No do the flashbang After waiting what appeared to be forever, finally the well-hyped game, and believe me, I was on the hype train for the day of its release, up to two hours before it got launched, Breachers VR is finally out of alpha, and it is now in its full release. You can get the game on Steam or on Oculus, and if you pre-ordered now, or actually not anymore, if you pre-ordered on Oculus, you got this sick Jesper skin, which looked amazing. It's beautiful right there. And if you bought the game within 24 hours after its release on Steam, you would have gotten the same skin, so it's all the same. Now, let's talk about some of the things that's changed since the original alpha. One of the first things we have on our list here is Grapple Swing, which is a new concept introduced in the full version of Breachers. Yes, I'm aware it was in the alpha, but I hadn't actually gotten a chance to play the alpha before... Well, I had played it, but I haven't gotten the chance to use the uh, new Grapple Swing. Anyways, aside from all that, it is a beautiful way to get inside buildings, it is badass. You can time a flashbang to be thrown perfectly inside, or, you know, bounce it off of a wall and flashbang yourself and then die, but still, you looked cool while doing it, even if you did die. If you've been keeping up with the Discord at all lately, you've noticed that they've added two more maps, well technically three, but nobody plays on the other one. They've added a Kill House map, Hideout map, and a Skyscraper map, my personal favorite. And all these maps are already amazing, the Kaleidos Factory map was already, like, probably one of the best maps, but now they've added more map variety, it makes the game feel less repetitive and more like an actual, you know, good game. Can I have a beer? 